Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 15th of 2023. Well, it is titled when Z is for Mars. So when would Z be for Mars? Well, here we see the planet Mars, a number of different images taken between August of 2022 and March of 2023. And you see that Mars kind of traces out a Z pattern in the sky. Now, why does it do this? Well, this is when Mars goes through retrograde motion. And retrograde motion was a concern for very early astronomers in trying to map the planets. Recall that they considered that the Earth was the center of the universe and solar system and everything went around Earth. So how do you explain motion like this? Why was the planet stopping going backwards and then proceeding forward again? And that was a difficult question, although they were able to answer it by using what we call epicycles. An epicycle was that the planet orbited Earth indirectly, but it also went around a second circle. And that allowed it to undergo retrograde motion. And of course, this was explained much more easily uh, when we decided that yes, the sun was the center of the solar system. And the Earth was orbiting around it just like Mars. And when Earth overtakes Mars in its orbit, it makes Mars appear to go backwards in the sky, even though it is still continuing on forward. Now let's look at what else we see in this image. And as we label it here, you can see off to the right, the Pleiades star cluster. And down below Mars, you can see the Hyades star cluster. So two star clusters. So this occurred in the constellation of Taurus. And we can also see a part of Orion off to the lower um, left hand side, Gemini up above that. And we see Mars as it's labeled from August 14th on the far right, and then beginning retrograde motion around the beginning of November on the left hand side, ending that in January and then turning around and proceeding in the proper direction again. Now you might also notice Comet ZTF there going through the middle of the image. And you can see where that was in uh, February as it passed actually relatively close to Mars. For a couple of days there it was very relatively close to Mars as Mars was proceeding in its retrograde motion as we see here. So retrograde motion is now easily explained, but was a very big difficulty for early astronomers trying to explain and to predict the motions of the planets, because it was not a regular motion as you would expect when we saw when we considered the Earth at the center and we saw the moon moving around it, it moved in a regular pattern. We thought sun moved around us and it moved in a nice regular pattern, always proceeding forward. The planets were the difficulty and eventually led us to the idea that it was not Earth, but our sun that was at the center of the solar system. So that was our picture of the day for April 15th of 2023. It was titled when Z is for Mars. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be winging it. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.